Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to try some new nail tips. They are from BT Artbox. BT Artbox has some of my all-time favorite nail tips in general. I have a whole stash of their nail tips here. They recently came out with these French tip ones here that I did a video on, and then they have like this neutrals collection in different shades of neutrals. They come in shades of pink, brown, and then like a nude right here. And they also come in different shapes, different sizes. And I personally use them for the gel X method using a nail glue they're very flexible at the cuticle and then they thicken at the tip they're not crazy thick like some of the original gel X tips out there like the clear ones I feel like the, some of the clear ones are definitely a lot sturdier and thicker but these are very natural and they're already pre-buffed on the inside and the outside so you don't have to pre-buff them they can potentially crack I had one crack so you do kind of have to be careful, but I always reinforce it with a top coat. And now they have these milky white tips, and these are the ones that I'm going to be trying in today's video. They're really affordable as well. You can shop them on Amazon, which is where I usually get them, or btrboxnails.com. I'll link both down below. But I also kind of wanted to share everything that I use to do my own nails at home, kind of everything that I've accumulated. So I'm going to go in order of steps. I have this cuticle set right here, cuticle trimmer, cuticle pusher, and this is nice for prepping the cuticles. And then I also have like a bunch of these nail files that I got. This one might be a little bit too gritty one side is not as gritty as the other but I use it to very gently buff the nail plate so what I'll do first is push back my cuticles cuticles trim them if need be and then go in and very gently buff the nail plate so that the nails nail tips have something to adhere to because it's, if it's a very smooth surface then it's not going to last as long and you might pop off you might get lifting things like that so nail prep is definitely very very important and then after that i go ahead and i personally use isopropyl alcohol to wipe down my nails to make sure you're getting rid of any excess dust oils dirt anything like that I'll go in with a napkin and just wipe every single nail plate make sure they're free of all of that and then I'll go in with my protein bond and I have this one from Young Nails. Some people do the extra step of going in with a nail dehydrator which kind of does the same thing. It gets rid of excess oils. Um, I just use isopropyl alcohol and then I go straight into the protein bond. This right here, this is like an extra step of adhesion in between your nail plate and the nail tip. So just apply a little bit of this to the entire nail plate. Just be careful not to get it on the skin. And the protein bond air dries. You don't have to cure it since it's not a gel product. I do recommend sizing out the nails before you start all of the prepping and things like that. That way it's ready to go, which I already have my nails right here. Um, and when you size them out, you want to make sure that they're going from side wall to side wall. They're not too big. They're not too small. Just kind of like the perfect size. And then for the actual application, you're going to need a nail glue gel. I have this one here from Una Gela in a tube. I absolutely love it. It's a thicker type jelly formula. It cures into like a gel almost, one that you can kind of like peel off. Very interesting. I don't know. It's just very easy to use in my opinion, the way that it spreads out because it's thicker and I don't experience any air bubbles with this. So very easy to apply as well so I've just been really loving it so you're gonna need a nail glue a little mini lamp like this and then a larger UV lamp like this and the reason why I use two lamps I mentioned this in a few videos is because when you're gonna be applying the nail you're gonna have to hold it down as it cures and it is a lot easier to do that with a nail lamp like this but these nail lamps are not strong enough to fully cure them they're mainly for flash curing so this is why once you have all the nails on you go ahead and fully cure them under a larger lamp like this. And I do wear, I have these black gloves here from LED Susie. They're UV gloves. I'm not sure how help, helpful, helpful they are, but I've seen a few nail accounts use them. So I just kind of wear them for extra protection. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on a YouTube video, watch some vlogs. And as I'm watching, I'll show you guys the process of actually applying the nails. Wait, hold on. Me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. If 
I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I'd knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light of home It's getting a bit dark so I'm going to show you guys what I did so far and then show tomorrow in a natural light but this is the end result of one hand done here it's kind of hard to tell because I'm using a light so it's kind of reflecting and not giving the true look but I think it's very pretty it's like that beautiful milky white perfect for every day almost reminds me of some of the OPI colors just very very pretty and I forgot to mention I got this size extra short almond in these and I feel like these seem a lot sturdier than like their neutral gel -X ones like the nail overall I don't know if it's because it's just extra short but even the cuticle, everything, the entire nail feels super sturdy. So I don't know if they like changed the nail a bit or what, but it seems very sturdy. Um, and as you guys saw, to apply it, you apply some nail glue to the underside of the nail tip. And then starting at a 45 degree angle from the cuticle, apply pressure downward so that the nail glue can disperse from it sidewall to sidewall. If some oozes out, I'll just clip it away or you can go ahead and file a little bit of what a little bit of away and then I you can go ahead and shape the nail tips as well. Get rid of that little tab at the tip and then go right into your top coat because these are kind of already they have that milky white design and they're pre-buffed so you don't need to buff them. You just go straight into the top coat and you're done. Apply your nail cuticle oil and that's it. This is why I love these um, like neutral and these gel X tips because it makes having a manicure so easy. I'm not going to apply the cuticle oil now because I still have to do this hand here but I'm going to apply it after I'm done and then I'll also show you guys a final clip of what it looks like in natural sunlight. But so far, I'm very impressed with these nail tips. <laughs> Thank you.